Alright, got me a package from the Vapor Room. Um, shipped out 9-23-2014 and now 9-25-2014. Not too bad. Um, looks like... Be a nice place right here. I just trim off the top here. That worked out pretty dang good. Alright, so, got some juice, I got a letter, and a business card. So like I said, it is, um, the vapor room. Uh, www.thevaporroom.net Um, that's cool, kind of like an explanation of what an e-cigarette is on the back of these cards, that's cool. Go ahead and look at this little letter. Alright. Little invoice, a little congratulations and stuff on there. A little note problem. That's cool. Um so this off over here and get into this. Okay, that didn't work out as planned, but oh well. And this one will. There we go. So nice bubble wrapping. Sealed up in a little baggie. Packaging. So we got one, two, three, four, five bottles of juice. We got TVRRY4. And just off the bat, I'm liking this. You got your milligrams. You got your VGPG mixtures right here. You got your ingredient listings. You got batch number, expiration date. So yeah, good labels. And child proof. Anyway. So T V R R Y four French vanilla coffee. Ooh. Samoas. Hibiscus and juicy peach. So let me pause for a second and I'm gonna look these some of these up. Alright, going through the website I really couldn't find um, the hibiscus or the Samoas. Um, I've been having problems so so I kinda gave up. I got there's something wrong on the pop up blocker because I got pop ups everywhere. Um, but I did get the, <clears throat> not that I really needed it, but French Vanilla Coffee, French Vanilla Coffee. The TVR RY4, it's the Vapor Room, TVR, their version of the RY4, apparently they put a little vanilla in it. Um, Juicy Peach, obviously, should be tasting like peaches. Now, hibiscus, I'm guessing, is going to taste like hibiscus. I've had hibiscus tea. I don't know about that in Samoas, I have no idea. So you know what? I'm just gonna put them over here and just kind of grab one and do it from there. So we're gonna take these first and juicy peach. Wow. Nice juicy flavor to it. Now I'm starting at 3.3 volts. So let's get juicy peach. A tasty. And it is a 
12 milligrams. Not bad. I mean, I don't get a whole lot of flavor. But. A little bit. Let's go up to 4.8 volts. Bad. I, 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 I'm getting a little bit of a. Not really sure how to flavor it is. Kind of a... I almost want to say tobacco flavor. But I'm not sure. It's not bad, really. I mean... Let me try something here. Let me pull the voltage down a little bit. Yeah, it kind of went away. So I think it might be just a voltage. You know, a certain flavors, they react differently to different voltages and stuff. So sometimes, and that's why a verbal voltage device is really nice because you can kind of play with that a little bit. And, Yeah, kind of. It's still there a little bit, but let me see if I can pop it down a little bit farther. You know, I've lost a lot of. I've lost a decent of, enough peach flavoring to notice. So, I mean, it could be something with the atomizer in here too. I've had that happen before, so. It's not bad, really. So, it's got a. It's not a. A strong peach flavor, by the way. I mean, it's. Well, actually, I'm starting to lose it. So, let me throw a little bit more in there because I'm. I'm it's weird that. I mean, it's like, Juicy Peach is actually a good name for it, because it has, it has a peach flavor, but also has a juiciness to it, which is weird, you know, but it, it's good. I mean, I'm not a big peach fan, but not too bad, you know. I guess I put these in a line. So Samoa's will be next. And I think these are all 12. Yeah, all 12 milligrams, so. And then. Looks like all 50 50 too. Yeah, all 50 50 PG VG mixture. Samoas. So like I said, I couldn't find it on there. But I don't know if I said this video or child for box lids. I don't smell much. I might smell enough to know something's there, but still nothing. Like I say, I'd rather have no smell and great taste than great smell and no taste. Oof. Start at 3.3. Hmm. It tastes kind of cinnamon. But not real cinnamon. Wait, let me turn this up. 4.8 volts. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's 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 kind of like the the start of cinnamon, but not cinnamon. It's got a a, a nice nuttiness to it. It's kind of nuttiness. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's not cinnamon. Maybe it's a, a uh, what's it like? Maybe it's like a nut mixture, and it's just a one I'm not used to. Interesting. Definitely. It's not a bad flavor at all. Yeah. That is. For those of you who don't know what a dry hit is, you don't want to taste it. It's just nasty. But it's where all the juice in your atomizer is gone, so all you taste like that crap. Alright. TBR RY4. So this is basically tobacco caramel, but with vanilla. Okay, so there is three point three. The only reason I started at 3.3 .3 is because some people might not have variable voltage devices, and so that's pretty much where they're going to stay at. Um, but I do, um, I vape mainly at 4.8 volts, so that's why a lot of times I'm not tasting a whole lot down on the lower end. Not bad. I'm not getting a really strong tobacco flavor. It's not bad. I mean, I get a little hints of vanilla and much caramel. It's a little hint of vanilla. I think I'm getting a little hit of dry hit, too. That's the one thing I don't like about these little itty bitty air little tubes. Is you get a lot of air in there and you can sit there for about you know ten seconds and drop an air out. Not bad. I mean it's a tobacco flavor. I would expect more tobacco, but you know, we'll have to see. Now, I have, like I said, I have had hibiscus tea on multiple occasions. It's not too bad. It's got an interesting flavor to it. Let's see how this does. 
got kind of a hibiscus-y flavor to it, or aroma to it, I should say. Nice. I like that. Let's crank that bad boy back up, though. Yeah. It's got a little bit of the hibiscus tea flavor to it, but floral is the best way to describe this, but it's good. It's It's got a little sweetness, a little, a little hint of tartness here and there, but it's good. Yeah, I like them. Not so much like that it's gone already. I think I need to stop tilting it so much. Okay. Last up for now, the French vanilla coffee. I'm looking for a good coffee juice. Don't smell a whole lot. Of course, my nose is all jacked up and has little AB holes. So. Just a little coffeeness. that up. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. It's got a, it's got actually I did find this one. It just said it's French vanilla black coffee, which is interesting because that's what it tastes like. It tastes like black coffee, but it's got a nice little Frenchy, vanilla-ish flavor to it. That's pretty dang good. That is pretty dang good. You know, I'm gonna throw a few, I'm gonna throw another drop in here. So what I'm gonna do is, as always, I will put these in the humidor for a couple of days. No more, more a couple of. And bust them back out. We'll do another taste. See how they, what they've done over the time. Let them steep for a little while, and try them again. All right, the vapor room. Sent me some juices. All right, they've been in the humidor steeping for five days, and we'll give them another shot. See how they taste now. And we got some boas. Okay, cool. I'm trying to put one drop in there so I don't like take a minute and a half to get out. All right. It kind of a a chocolatey kind of a flavor. A little bit of Spice, it seems, right there in the, in the end. Hmm, I think it went out already. I did. Maybe I will do three, two drops. Apparently one is not enough, two might a little too much. Ah, uh, yeah.
So yeah, it's got a nice, kind of a dark chocolate, a little bit. Not like nasty dark chocolate, but just a little dark chocolate with a little, uh, it's like a little bit of spice. I'm not really sure what that is. But it's good. It's 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 like enough chocolate, but yet different than chocolate. You know what I mean? And that's the distinct taste of a nasty stinky guard hit. So juicy peach. Again, not a big peach fan, but I am kind of liking a lot of the peach juice that I've been trying. Which, you know, dry juices. Even if it's something that you're not really liking, like peach. I don't like peaches. I don't like to eat peaches. But so far, a lot of the peach juice I've tried is actually pretty good. Yeah, that's, it tastes good. Like I said, I mean, juicy is a good word for it. Um, it tastes like you've just been into a peach, kind of. Um, and it, it I, like I said, it confuses me because I don't like peaches. Maybe I'm going to try a peach. Next time I'm out with the wife and she gets that peach tea, I might have to eat one of her peaches to see if maybe I like peaches now. Good. These are all 12 milligrams. Um, I think all 50 52. No, 20, wait. 25 PG 50 BG on that one. 25 75. 25 75. Where do I get 50 50? Oh, there it is. That's why. It is 50-50. My fault. I'm looking at the wrong spot. But if you can't read, that's why. Who said that? Alright. Moving on. Hibiscus. Again, I actually had hibiscus flavors. Smell much. Yeah, still nice floral. Um, it's hard to describe the flavor, but floral it is definitely. And hibiscus is a flower, so. a nice vape. Um, that really, can't really, like, suggest, like, you know, to relax or, you know, like an after dinner type of thing, but, you know. Which sometimes I kind of like to classify where I put it. R Y four. So this is their version of the R Y four. For those who don't know, R Y four is a caramel tobacco. Which I kinda like. Good. It's got not a very heavy tobacco flavor, okay? A little hint of tobacco 
a um, little little caramelness, more of a, a cream. More, yeah, more like a, a smoothie kind of creaminess, not so much a caramel flavor to it. But there is something else in there. Not sure what it is, but it's got flavor. I mean, like I said, it's not really any one of them is not really strong. It kind of just blends together very nicely, and, which is good because it it tastes good. But it might be a bad thing because you can't really go, oh, it tastes like this or it tastes like that. That tastes like dry hit. Alright. French vanilla coffee. It's like French vanilla coffee. It really does. I mean, it it tastes like French vanilla black coffee. It's got a little bit of that black coffee kind of a not really bitterness to it, but bite to it, you know. But it tastes good. I mean, it's, this is something in the areas where I relax to. It's not, you know, the bite I'm talking about, it's not like it's, it's a bite. It's more of like, <clears throat> it's very light, you know. I mean, you could definitely taste that it's more of a black coffee than, you know, with sugar or anything in it, so. It's got a nice little... French vanilla kind of a taste. It's not a hundred percent dead on, but it's good. Um, of the five, I'd have to say that's probably my favorite one. Followed probably by the Samoa, or Samoas, um, and maybe Peach. And I'm not really sure between the you, our wife or the hibiscus. Not really, just kind of a toss up between those two. So, um, Vapor Room Juice, um, VaporRoom.com, I believe. Um, so, thank you. And actually, where's my paper at? Thank you, Josh and Jess, for the samples. Keep on vaping.